Hello, hello. This is Victoria Wild with Sedona Luxury Homes here in beautiful Sedona, Arizona. Today, I'm going to be showing you one of my most favorite neighborhoods in all of Sedona, Cross Creek Ranch. So this neighborhood is located on Red Rock Loop Road, which is accessed off of 89, State Route 89A. So lower Red Rock Loop Road is that way, and upper Red Rock Loop Road is that way. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the community and, and what it's like living out here. There is certainly a different feel than you would have in the city of Sedona. Um, the tour that we're going to do, we're going to go with, in my car and I'm going to tour you around as if you were sitting in the passenger seat next to me and just give you some insight and some thoughts that I have on this wonderful, wonderful neighborhood. So let's go ahead, buckle up. I'm going to flip you around and get you all settled boom there we go all right okay so i wanted to start out at the out at the front of the neighborhood so you could get the full effect of this fabulous bridge so the uh this is the entrance and this bridge which is in my opinion quite dramatic goes over oak creek and oak creek is the main i would say water feature that runs through sedona it starts up in the canyon and then goes all the way out to cottonwood camp verde area and connects with the verde river so all right so to the right right here i'll show you these are the cluster let me see if it shows up my phone up those are the cluster mailboxes and then this is the beautiful gate so i'm going to go ahead and get us in with my secret code I think it's the gist of this. There we go. All right. And what I what I like, if you can appreciate, this is a really beautiful intricate gate. Not all neighborhoods in Sedona have that level of detail. Um, the people who started this neighborhood really had an eye for design and wanted the neighborhood to feel a certain way. So we're going to, just so you know, this connects, this is a big loop that we're going to go on. We're going to stay left for now, and then we're going to come out and go through the loop, and I'll tour you all around. Um, these lots are anywhere from two to two and a half acres, and compared to other areas of Sedona, you have a very expansive private feel out here. The, um, we're going to take a right up here first. So we're going to continue. This is Cross Creek Circle. We're going to go right to Russet Ridge Place. These are some of the historic buildings um, to the right and to the left that are kind of community centers that uh, are, are historic and will not be changed. But there are 84 custom home sites out here. And like I said, two to two and a half acres. Lots you can typically, right now at the timing of this video, lots are anywhere between four to 500,000. I wanna say that when I just looked this morning, and there are a couple lots for sale. Homes range anywhere from the twos to four plus million. Uh, and it just depends what comes on the market. So here are a couple homes on, this is Russet Ridge. So that's a newer construction home right there. This is a lot that's currently for sale, I believe for around 450. And then this is a home that's currently for sale. This is actually um, our listing. That's listed for 2.5 million at the time, 2.55 million at the time of this video. And the most iconic feature, rock feature that this neighborhood was sort of centered on, so I'll show you, that's Cathedral Rock right there. And in the evening, that's we're facing east right now, it totally and completely lights up. It's absolutely incredible with the way the sun is oriented. So this is Russet Ridge. We're going to continue the tour onto Cross Creek Circle so you can see the full neighborhood. And, you know, I, I would say the eastern side of the neighborhood, the, the part we're about to go look at, that to me has the best views that face east and, and look towards Cathedral Rock. And as you head more into the western portion of the neighborhood, your lots become quite a bit flatter and more grassy but certainly the views are not as strong. We're gonna go into Raven's Call real quick. 
so you can see this. This is a kind of a short spur. Um, some unique features about Cross Creek Ranch are there, there's actually fiber optic internet out here, which is incredible. Uh, and you just saw the fire hydrant. That's also pretty unique to have a uh, fire hydrant, fire suppression service like that. But back to the internet, um, that this is the only neighborhood in Sedona that has fiber optic. It's pretty incredible. It's um, really a nice feature to have if you want to work from home. Oh, look at all the deer. Hang on, I have to show you. There's, let me, uh, there's all the deer right there. That's really neat. So, and I'll say you definitely certainly have a very wild, natural, rustic feeling out here. You are not in the city of Sedona, which is nice if you're building. So if you're looking for a piece of land to build on there, you know, the county can be a little difficult, but the impact fees are not as expensive in the county as they are with the city of Sedona. So that's, that's kind of a nice, a nice feature about being out in the county. All right, so I'm gonna do a circle here around the round of the cul-de-sac. We're gonna head back to Cross Creek Circle. And so you can see the variation in these lots. So these lots are very, like I said, flatter, very grassy. You have a much more expansive, like it, it's not as a uh, rolling hill landscape. Um, and so the whole neighborhood, this all used to be part of the estate that was owned by the family that owned, well, former, now it's Red Rock State Park, but they had, gosh, I want to say it was close to 900 acres of land, perhaps more than that. And slowly over time, it's been sold off. This was a parcel that was sold off and then turned into Cross Creek Ranch. Um, but this neighborhood does border Red Rock State Park, which is a really nice feature for homeowners here. You can hop right on the trails, have miles of hiking. You also have creek access, Oak Creek access, which we'll hit at the end of the tour. You'll see that. And what I've seen with Cross Creek over the years is that it's really taken off in terms of um, the, the high end design and also home values. So we have a lot. Oh, there's another deer. Can you see it on the video right there? There he is. There's the deer. So what I have seen is over time, individuals coming in here, purchasing pieces of land and really just doing incredible home design. Hello. With uh, the, the level that they're taking these homes to. So there's a couple couple new builds up here that are happening. And then there's several several homes that have sold recently. So this one on the right, right up here, this one recently sold, I believe in four, in the low fours. And then this home, we're going to take a right on this road, but this home recently sold right here for, I want to say 2.3. And that's an incredible home. That's a very high end uh, in, in, I believe the architect was, I can't remember his whole name right now, but Androly. He was a famous Italian architect, does a lot of beautiful work in New York City. Uh, but again, extremely high end and it's all varied. There's not, no, no two homes are certain. There's def definitely no two homes are alike. They're uh, all very custom and different. Um, you know, you have styles such as this home right here, which is, it sort of feels very posh city, um, vibrant. I think the kitchen actually was like a bright fire engine red. I loved it. I thought it was fabulous. I almost had a client purchase that home, but then you also have homes that are more rustic and, uh, cozy feeling I would say. This home ahead of us, hard to see, this one is currently listed on the market for I want to say three two, it's a two bedroom, um, two bedroom, three bath I believe. Mid-century style, not built in the mid-century obviously, this is a newer neighborhood, but that property in my opinion has some of the best views of Cathedral Rock, so uh, it's truly incredible. Um, another feature of this neighborhood is it has its own septic, communal septic system that's part of the HOA and also same with the water. So it's sort of a self-contained area out here where, you know, all the homeowners pay into that and then it's maintained and kept nice. All right, we're heading to Stargazer's Way. So this is another spur off of the main Cross Creek Circle loop. 
And with these homes, you get a little higher elevation. As you can tell, we're, I don't know if you can see on the video, but we are actually really going up right now. And not a lot of these lots have been built out. So there's, you know, there's a lot for sale. If you can see the sign up there, it's probably, I think that is the highest lot in all of Cross Creek. But what I really like about Cross Creek is I think, you know, first off, you can't go wrong if, if you want to have a more private, tranquil, not be part of the city of Sedona lifestyle. To me, this is one of the premier neighborhoods to live in. Um, you know, you have just fabulous design, fabulous architecture. It's very private. And there are still a lot of lots available in, in, where people are going to buy and then build, which I always think from, from an investment standpoint, which real estate, it's not always about, you know, trying to get the best investment. I mean, for me, for me, it is. But, you know, some people, they just they want a certain type of home that they're going to just love and cherish. But I personally believe if you buy in and there's still properties that are being developed with new construction, that is a really good place to be from an investment standpoint. All right, so we're back on Cross Creek Circle. There's another lot for sale on the left right there. Let me get out of the middle of the road. And we're gonna head to, this is Amber Cliffs Way. And there's also some new construction happening out here as well. So these are the homes that are being built right now that back to my my current listing, listing which is 45 Russet. So there you've, you've got this new build out here, and then I think there's another one. And it seems to me, from the looks of it, that they're leaning more modern, which which is great, fits the landscape. I think um, the builders that are chosen to build out here, that, that the homeowners you know choose to work with, they're very high end. Brian, or um, what's his name? Not Brian. Greg Steves, yeah, Brian's his son. He's a builder out here. Beautiful. All right. So we'll keep going. But on Red Rock Loop, I personally think Red Rock Loop is one of Sedona's best kept secrets in terms of convenience and then what you get for your money. I, I think it's it's incredibly serene and private. You don't, you're not part of the city, which it depends how you look at it. It could be a pro or a con. Um, you know, I, for me, I would probably say it's a it's a pro for, for, for me personally. However, you know, you do have a more rustic kind of rural lifestyle, but Cross Creek and the HOA overcome that with by providing, you know, top-notch septic system, top-notch water, and that's all included with, with the HOA. Um, but typically, if you're just buying a lot or, or a home on Red Rock Loop Road, you're going to have your own septic and your own well and all of that. And that's something you have to maintain yourself as the homeowner. There's another lot for sale. And now we're going down. So this is the western part of Cross Creek Ranch, which, in my, my opinion, it's just different. It has a different feel to it. You don't have the Cathedral Rock big red rock views that you have on the eastern portion of the neighborhood. But the lots, as we dip down over here, you'll see, again, they're more flat, um, grassy, if that's something that you desire. You also have the creek over here. So some of these lots, I'll show you the creek access that the community has. So here's a really nice big lot. And that's a newer home that was built to my right. And then ahead of us, just so you kind of know all the features, that's um, Sherman Mountain. And there's there's lots of lots of hiking all around here on Red Rock Loop Road. You also have Crescent Moon Ranch, which is one of the most peaceful places to go in the summertime. Well, if you can beat the crowds and if you go midweek, it's really a fabulous place to take a dip in the creek and enjoy. But if you lived here, you would have your own private creek access. All right, we'll do another circle around. This is another cul-de-sac here. And then the creek, Oak Creek is right here. So this is Oak Creek. And then this road 
over there, that is Cayuse Trail. So that's a different neighborhood. It's not actually, it's a neighborhood, but it's not a gated community. It's, it's, um, there's no HOA up there. And the rocks in front of me, um, they don't really have names. People ooh and ah over the beautiful kind of red cliff face right there, but that's just a, a nice feature of Sedona. We have a lot of just red rock everywhere and really only the very prominent rocks get fun and cool names. <laughs> But this is the home I was talking about in front of us that was recently constructed. Beautiful three-car garage, nice windows, big lot. They set it back on the lot nicely, so they have plenty of privacy. And now we're headed back onto Cross Creek Circle. So we're coming to the end up here. We're gonna hit the, neighbor, hit the uh, gate again, the neighborhood. And I want to show you, I just want to make sure I don't pass it, the creek access. It's really easy to miss if you're driving fast and not paying attention. I think it's right here. Yep, here, let me point my car there. So here, I'm just going to like awkwardly point my car. This is the creek access that you can take. So there's stairs that go down to the creek and it's something I think a lot of people would use um, or do use out here but having private creek access I can't emphasize that enough how fabulous that is to, to be able to have a portion of the creek where you don't have to deal with the crowds and then again this is another area that's of, of the community that's flatter less less red rock views but it's just it's just a different feel And the road to my left, you might have wondered what, what that is over there. So this is just a divided area where I believe there's lots to my right that aren't built yet. And then, well, here, let me, let me show you real quick. So I'll show you, so this is keep right, just so you can see some of those homes and what they look like and what I'm sort of talking about with the, oh, there's a little squirrel. Watch out, squirrel. Oh, he's running right to my car. Do you see him? Watch out, buddy. Wow, the theme of this tour is wildlife today. Okay, so again, these lots, I mean, I think, I think you really can't go wrong with, lot, with, the, with the lot in Cross Creek Ranch. Um, you know, I think it's fabulous if you have kids and you want grass and you do have to take care of the grass, you know, and I will say landscape in Sedona, landscaping in Sedona, it's really not that difficult if you do more of a wild native cacti native plant if you go that route if you have grass you're going to have to water it in the summer and that's just a reality we live in a it's not a full-blown desert i would say it's a semi-arid transitional zone so we have the desert down in the valley and then you have alpine snow-capped mountains up in flagstaff and we sit right in the middle so i would say it's sort of the transitional zone we, we get four seasons but um definitely not a full bone desert. Okay, so we're coming to the end. I'm going to go out the gate now so you can see what that looks like. And I just, okay, I had to pull up really close to this gate. Wow, I think that's a new thing. There's a sign to, to the left, but I love this gate. I think it's, to me, one of the, uh, this in the area, the area has a really beautiful gate as well. So, all right, I'll pull over here. So that is our full tour of Cross Creek Ranch. Feel free to reach out with any questions that you have. My contact information is down below. And again, I am Victoria Wild with Sedona Luxury Homes. I am a local real estate expert here in Sedona with everything luxury real estate. I would be more than happy to help you in any way I can. And uh, just give me a holler. All right. Thanks so much and see you soon.